Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Master Nightfall run on the Titan. As you can see, I'm doing it on Thunder Crash. Forward Path is the primary, Tico's Divination is the energy, and Threaded Needle is the heavy. With all the relevant finders and scavengers, I've got high energy fire on the chest plate with sniper damage and art damage resist. I've got taking charge to get the charge for light build, and I've also got protective light just in case with particle deconstruction on the mark. Uh, auto rifle for barrier, Tico's for overload. Now, this is the second master I've put out today. Frantic day of editing today because I leave for holiday in two and a half hours. So I'm just trying to get these videos up so that you guys have got something there for the week. So I've already put out the Hunter Run, which this one's pretty similar. Uh, obviously, different subclass means you've got to attack the ads slightly differently. And I also put out my Solo Flawless Run uh, from this weekend. Uh, so check that one out as well. So, as you can see, we just spiraled past all the ads because uh, this guy here is the only ad we're really interested in, so we just want to melt him. He does kind of deviate from the front there, but you can, there's a little bit of leeway. You can move left and right, or you could just wait for him to come back into the opening, and then we make our way into the building. Now, in here, you're going to have a barrier to start with, a couple of trash mobs, uh, Tiku's alternate fire rate where you hit fire, attach burning explosive rounds uh, arrows is really good for sorting out bigger waves of ads like this uh, wave of uh, hive at the bottom here you see I'm just I'm trying to wait for these thrall now the problem with Tiku's especially with these it's really good for sorting out bigger sets of ads but the problem really is we'll just break this barrier shield is there's so much aim assist on it that if anything runs runs past your your sight, it will drag Tiku's with it. So a lot of aim assist and obviously the, the arrows that they track. And, and and they also highlight enemies, which is really good in here. So in this next area, just to the right we're gonna have an overload. We're gonna have a bunch of ads here on the left. I take the I always go left and take these ads. Again Tiku does good good work here. There's the, the wizard which is really what who we wanted rid of uh, couple of fallen at the top there some some acolytes at the bottom take them out you can see there when I was saying it's really good for sorting out the smaller ads it also marks them so it should tell you what who you've taken and who's left to take I managed to take that overload out and there we go that's the vandal and the overload I'm gonna go up here once you go up to the top of these stairs this opening behind us we're gonna get a bunch of thrall coming out of there. There they are, and uh, there they go. Uh, so be careful when you go up to these stairs. Make sure you're keeping an eye out the, for the left-hand side. We've got a barrier. We've got some. You can see there a couple of fallen. We've got a barrier champion right here. Now this was what I planned to do with the barrier. So actually, here's the thing. From here on in, I, I actually don't need a barrier weapon because I get my super for every barrier champion. Uh, so the, de the the way that this and the hunter run differ, I explained a lot of this in the hunter run. The way that these runs differ is the hunter actually could use the super to clear ads. No, I'm going to have to do it uh, with weapons and stuff, which is why this runs actually a little bit longer. This runs about. I don't know, about eight minutes longer. It's not that that much longer. Is it simply that eight minutes is clearing ads that the 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 arc strider took with the super. Now, Titan does have obviously a bit of an advantage over what the the hunter had because uh, that the, the Titan has two ranged arc attacks. So you've got the ballistic slam. Which is like a mini, I don't know, a bit of a throwback D1 here, but you used to have uh, something on the Titan called uh, Death from Above. That's basically the ballistic where you jumped up in there and then you aimed your your uh, your fist of havoc and it came down much the same as a ballistic slam, which is I believe where they got the idea for ballistic slam from. So all we've got left now is this knight and this this wizard. 
uh, uh, champ, uh, wizard. This knight and this captain, both archers. So I, I don't want uh, the reason why I'm 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 taking a bit more, a few more chances. I do not want that knight to regenerate his shield. So we know we've got one more add there, and then we've got this captain. So what I'm going to do with the captain? Make sure I've got my threaded needle. I'll just charge up my ballistic slam. Bosh! That breaks his shield. Now, unfortunately, he went backwards there. Normally, he just flies forward, and you can just finish him with the with the threaded needle. That's all the ads cleared. Now we're going to start up the wave defense part. Deactivate the fallen security measures. You come here to do that, and then hightail it all the way down here. Stay away from all the ads, and uh, and you should be good. So to start with, you're going to get an overload. And, and the great thing about it is all the ads that are even a little bit kind of dangerous, nearly all of them will come to you. Now, other people, you can do this from on top of the, the walkway. I'm trying to steer away this season from warlock runs because I feel like it's like, oh, a PV video is bound to be a warlock. And I don't, I, I don't really want to do that anymore. And... Stasis is really good here as well, if you're a stasis user. I I used to enjoy playing Crucible, and what stasis done to Crucible for me was unforgivable, so I, I try never to use it. It's, you know, I did for last season's Glassway, but it's just, no, I just can't. It's unforgivable what it done to Crucible. Uh, plus, you don't actually need it for this. You know, I mean, the great thing, I think I think I've seen a run where the Aegis Scepter, the new uh, Trace Rifle, basically can freeze champions. The barrier champions, you don't need a barrier. The auto rifle is actually not too bad, so I didn't really have a problem using the auto rifle for barrier. It's just one of those things. We've been really lucky with barriers, uh, I think. We've had some really good, some really good uh, barrier mods. So, you know, auto rifle's not great, but you just have to live with it. No, we're just gonna. We know we've got ads at the back, but around here, once you clear all the front kind of ads, uh, once you get that wave of three, that wave of three drag that came from the left there, you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna get the shanks right after that. So. Uh, Tiku does that chain and explosion because the uh, hot knife's on. So, really makes light work. In fact, I would go as far as to say hot knife in this situation is a beneficial, you know, beneficial modifier because it really makes taking those uh, those shanks out a ton easier. Although it actually is supposed to be a negative modifier. So now we'll just take this captain out. There we go. And then back down. So that's that's the first wave. You can see that defend ghost. Security measures deactivated. One of three. So when you get here, what you're going to have is you're going to have a wave of hive as well. So a couple of hive wizards. But also right in front of us, which is, again, beneficial that we're here. Is you're going to get uh, your barrier champion. This is... The only, is this the, I think this is the only barrier champion you get here. It is, isn't it? So the only barrier champion you get here. You get a whole bunch of uh, overloads, but one barrier. There's the barrier, and there goes the barrier. So as I've already said, at this point, I don't, from there here on in, I don't think I break another barrier. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the one at the... Maybe the one at the, what do you call it, the, the tank room, big open area. Maybe I break one of their shields. I definitely don't do the first one. And now what you're going to get, which is, I haven't got my ballistic, I just got it. So I'll use the grenade on, on this guy. Uh, yeah, but maybe the first one. I know. I definitely know I thunder crash the first one when you come to the, the big room. Maybe the one in the middle I have to use the auto rifle on. Uh, but nearly every other champion is just thunder crashed. Uh, so now you're going to get, as, as you've seen there, we've got the, the... There's actually two Hive Knights and then there'll be two taking uh, Fallen Captains. I'm just now clearing up 
See, there's one of the captains there. No, you. Once you take down so many of the hive, you see there. I'm now getting. You'll get pushed now. By. By fallen. See all those fallen. Now there's your two arc. So what I'm going to do is throw that in there and try and stick some tikus. And there's one captain. And you can just, there'll be, you're also going to get some invisibles here. So be careful of those. There's the other captain. Now, normally what I've found with that captain is you do a little bit of damage and he runs. And like most of the enemies in Destiny, uh, the minute their shield gets broke, they, they're like, oh no. And you see there, he's running away. I was going to push. I did push. And that just sorts him out now. I more than likely are going to get more shanks once these, once these littler ads are taken down. You get a wave of shanks in between the big waves. Now I'm just going to try and... There we go. That's him. Now I'm expecting the shanks now. And hopefully, they will be here any minute now. And if they don't come, it means there's more ads up than I, than I thought. Yep, there we go. And i just seen an ad to, to the left. There we go. That last is it's all the little it's like the little wave of ads. If any of them are still up, once you take out all the little ads, that that triggers your next wave of 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 ads or of uh, shanks. So if the shanks aren't coming, it's just kinda a rule of thumb. If the shanks aren't coming, there's still ads hiding about somewhere from the original main from the original main wave. So there you go, security measures, two of three. We're going to get two Overload Champions now. There we go. Explosive, and then we'll try and take one of them out really quick. There we go. And there's the next one. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm probably not going to get him. So I'm going to try and use him as the explosive central for the next couple of shots to try and deal damage to any ads it could be about because this is where you get your invisibles so hopefully the explosive damage will chain to any of the other ads and now I'm just gonna use Tiku's the, the reload for it the reload for the the reload for threaded needle it, it th it's thrown me off a couple of times because I'm so used to the reload for other things that uh, Tikus is kind of it's a little bit of a longer reload so when I think I've reloaded I'm looking and it's like oh why 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 haven't I got any rounds it's just because the reload's a little bit different so now there's still a bunch of bads up just gonna move back make sure I'm, I'm in some cover I'm trying to get that explosive shot and you know I, I maybe was being a little bit aggressive now for anybody that's seen the the hunter run uh, I actually done this run first and it probably paved the way because it's been it's been so long since I've had to do this nightfall that this this run probably is why the hunter run is so efficient because the hunter run is a lot quicker than this run and this was like my first was this my first I think this was my first attempt on the Titan was it my it might not have been actually it may have been my second second or third attempt I I can't actually remember but I remember. I do remember I'd done this run like really quick. Uh, yeah, that, I'm, I'm, now I'm really thinking, was this my first run? I don't remember doing multiple runs on the Titan. The Hunter took, the Hunter took a couple of runs to get it as efficient as what I got it. But I think this might have been my first or second full run. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. When you've, when you've cleared all the ads and you can see nothing in front of you, even when it says 
that's everything done in that room we just come out of. There will still be those snipers up to the left. If you never took down the yellow bar sniper at the back, he'll still be there. It's it, it, it's misleading, uh, but anybody that's played any Gambit will know that the game likes to do stuff like that where it tells you that, that the, the, the wizards have gone in the boss phase and they're still there. I had a little bit of an issue with that as well where I was trying to pull out my heavy and uh, it kept pulling out my primary and there we go, got to reload again it's worthwhile farming for that uh, that uh, auto loading host of Warple version of this now this is where, I don't know if you guys remember, if you've watched the Hunter Run, if you haven't, then this will be news to you guys. What I, what I was saying in the Hunter Run is, the fire rate on, on this linear fusion rifle is so good, that sometimes the charge is ready before you're back in position. I'm just going back here, just obviously pick up, make sure I go into the next area with full heavy. So, I, I've started doing like a, charge hit for the first shot I charge it and hit and then I do like a half charge and then a full charge that half charge it's just muscle memory you don't have to do it but it just gives me time to make sure my reticle is back in position instead of charge fire charge fire sometimes I feel like the the flinch doesn't come back down so now what we're going to do is we're out here we've got, we know we've got a barrier there's your barrier and there goes the barrier and now I just push back now, as you can see, I went, for some reason, it looks like the, the game thought I went past the front of that building. And I cut that. I, I did it. I, I didn't actually go past the front of that building. And sometimes, let me have a look. No, no, it didn't. If you go past the front of that building, that's what brings out uh, the Fallen Walker and the, the Briggs. And, and you don't want them out just yet. I'm just going to try and deal with these. There we go. That's the Snipers down. Tiku's doing great damage there. That hip fire kind of charged shot. And now I'll just take these ads down here. Make sure that there's none of them kind of hanging about. There we go. That triple took the rest of them out. Now... We're going to go up here. We, as I say, we do not want to go past. I thought for a second there when it said the champions had appeared that the game thought I'd went past the front of that building, which, as I've already said, we know we hadn't. So there's a few ads down here, but we're also going to have, as you can see there, the overload champion. So I can't really hit him. So we want that. That's exactly what we want. We want him to teleport up here. And he's down again, so I'm just going to put a couple of shots. And that's the overload down. Now, there is a barrier in the middle. That's the barrier. I can't remember if I thunder crash him. If I do thunder crash this barrier, then really, if I'd have just waited a bit, I wouldn't have needed a barrier champion for any barriers. If I'd have waited for my super for the first barrier champion, then Thunder Crash would have took all the barriers out without needing an anti-barrier weapon and a sniper would have made this a ton faster. I did consider it. I did consider redoing this with a sniper but with going on holiday today uh, I really didn't have the time to do multiple runs of this. I could have probably got this run more efficient but it is what it is. I'll just try and hit him. There we go. It's really difficult to get that shot from this range. And this guy, I, I ended up just like forgetting about him for a bit. Now what I'm doing is, I'm, what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to decide whether it's worth trying to take the barrier down from here. And I, I, I think I end up settling on... I wasn't going to get him. Yeah. So I think I end up thinking, nope, I'm not getting him. So I'm just 
try and make sure there's no ads further down using using the barrier as as point of reference for for my explosive shots but you can see there he's uh he's pretty well protected and he's protecting all the other ads now i have got my thunder crash so i could thunder crash this barrier like this now that's super risky I use ballistic slam to kind of make up the ground away and not too much damage taken getting back so yep yeah, I literally used the auto rifle for one barrier at the start thunder crashed out with the rest of them so that so now the Briggs and the champions out uh, the fallen walker so now, I want to take the Briggs out first. We'll see how far away this guy is. He's, he is relatively far away. So, I've got a choice now. I could take him, I could just keep doing this. Or, there, there is another one on the other side. I've got to be careful because of the... because of the fallen walker. I need to make sure I don't sit, sit in the same position. There we go, try and get a couple of shots on those. I got hit there from the left, which tells me I can take this this uh, this brig. But this brig now is coming to position, so to make sure I'm not in the, the, uh, the, the lane of either of them, I'm backing away here, which is probably it's the best option. So, let's recap what th this room so far, because I've, I've kind of made a meal of it not wanting... I never had my thunder crash straight away for that barrier. When you come out here, you're going to have a barrier with some ads, a thunder crash, the first barrier, and then whittle down the first set of ads. Then I take the overload with any ads, just to where the brig is now. Once I go past the front of that building, we're going to get the two brigs, and we're going to get the fallen walker. Now I have to avoid the Fallen Walker while I'm taking the Briggs down. Then I'm going to work on the Fallen Walker, which then will leave me with the adds and the last overloads. Pretty simple, right? There's a lot of snipers here, which is why Sniper Resist is so good. I've coupled it with... Uh, I've coupled it with Arc. Arc Resist. And what that allows... It just adds to how much sniping shots I can tank. Now this is the Briggs secondary attack. It, it really can only go so far. So if you're just outside it, you'll be fine. And that's that Brig taken out. Now, now we're going to go over to this side and take out this Brig. I didn't really want to waste... Probably would have been quicker if I'd have put uh, threaded needle shots on and got particle deconstruction on, but I didn't really want to waste heavies. Especially when Tikus does this, you know, this sort of damage against them. So I'm just hip fire, attaching the the, the arrows, and then breaking the arrow, breaking the explosive sh explosive shot. And unfortunately, I remember this. No, he's right behind that pillar, so I've kind of had to move. And there are snipers in my range now, so I'll just attach and try and deal with those because the brig can't hit me. See there, has a secondary attack is hitting the pillar in front of him. Worked out well, but I would prefer preferred it if I hadn't have had to move position to take him out. And there's the second brick. So really simple to take those down. Really, really simple. Now we're gonna get up on here and we're gonna start working away at at the fallen walker now again as i've I, i've intimated this in previous uh in a previous run on the hunter i am not by any way shape fashion or form saying this is the simplest way to do this but i am not in any way shape fashion or form ever trying to do this quickly for me this is the safest way that i've found to do it 
because as you've seen, that's two characters. If you watch the, the Hunter run, you see this is two characters, both done roughly the same. The, 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 the Hunter Ox Strider run was, as I say, about eight to ten minutes faster. Watch out for these ships. Now, I felt pretty confident uh, that just the movement that I was I was doing, I would, I would be fine. Be careful of those ships because they will focus fire you. Now, as you can see, he's went down, so now I'm going to start trying to get... See what I'm saying about the charge rate? Charge rate being ready before the reticles come back down. This is now when I changed and started doing uh, half charge, full charge. Now, I, the half charge is just to get me back into position. You know, it's just something that I was doing. And you see there, if you d it just gave me that millisecond. So I'm not suggesting you guys do a half charge, full charge. What I'm saying is, it's more about don't just charge fire, charge fire, charge fire, because you will end up missing shots. If you're on PC and you're using mouse and keyboard, obviously that changes that totally. Uh, that's that overload. There are a couple more overloads. But now that at least there isn't a barrier. There's also invisibles that hide under near the bridge. Another great thing about Tico is that's all the, the all of the the invisibles down. Is once you hit the invisible, uh, it will burn. So you get to see where it's moving to. So we've got that take that fallen ship back in. So I'm just kind of under the bridge here. Now it's gone. So we'll just get up on top of this bridge and then we'll scope out where the rest of the champions are. There's a bunch of ads at the back. So I'm just going to kind of whittle them down just to just take my time. You see there, the great thing about having like a big overload or whatever in amongst all the ads, especially with Tiku, is you can you can do that hip fire thing that we're doing now, that, that, and it will because because it tracks and it's got really good tracking it won't just seek out the overload it will seek out any ads around it so whether it's an overload whether it's just whatever enemy it is if you've got a big easy to hit and big head those are overloads man they've got massive heads really easy to hit with the uh, precision precision shots are really easy to hit with the ball. Maybe not so much needing precision shots. We want them to come back out. You can attach the the hip fire shot to them, and then if there's like multiple enemies around them, it, they will attach to those, hit the overload. The overload will cause a chain reaction of explosive shots, which will take out all the ads around it as well. So it has actually quite a decent ad clear weapon. So it's quite low. There's no point in wasting a heavy. Uh, he's going to run away, that Orc Captain. That's the last overload. I'm just checking. Just put a grenade over there. Hopefully he'll push into the grenade. There we go. And that is all the ads here. Just about. I think there might be... Yep. One. I'll just... After, after you've cleared this room... Uh, just make sure you do a little scout for heavy, and and that that is this room done. Now, the boss room again, like most of the other rooms, is going to be slightly different than the hunter room because we don't have Arc Strider to just mop up all the ads. So I'm going to have to do it manually. The times I've done this before, it uh, it's took a little bit, a little bit longer than I anticipated. Because one of the overloads, you get two overloads here, and then the last wave, before we kill the boss, just before we kill the boss, I think, uh, we're going to get two more. One of them just runs, just straight away, just straight up, runs away. I mean, there's no other way to say it. He, he does run. So, what we're going to do, and the same as what I've done in the Hunter run, uh, what we're going to do... Is, uh, is not do that. I'm just... You need to have... So now if we just wasted shots now. That's all I've been doing is wasting shots. Uh, 
You see there, I kept, kept missing that old, that reload. Let's take out the last of the ads. Always stay on the right hand side here. It just takes a milli, like, it's honestly, it's like milliseconds more to reload than, than, than my muscle memory remembers. So we're going to stop this guy, get the explosive shot on him. Now that's how you do it. And, and, and I wasted a ton of shots just not getting the routine right. Now we're going to kill him. And finish him off there. So be on the right hand side. Make sure you've reloaded with your, your threaded needle so that get that hip fire, that shot off. So what we're going to do here, I want this boss to go, right? I want that boss to go. Now what I'm going to do here... This is something I thought was going to happen. I thought this captain was going to push in here like that. So, I put my... I put my rift... Uh, my, my rift? I put my barricade up at the door because it blinds the enemies when they go through it. So I had a feeling, i just seen that captain and just, I, I don't know, I expected the first captain to do that. So... I'll just take these ads out here. There's always a bunch of ads in there. Now, there is another captain over the other side. So, just to recap, when you get in here and you've took the... When the first wave of ads come, you're going to have two captains. If you're on the Titan, make sure you put down your barricade over the door because the first captain will most of the time push. Ballistic Slam pushes them back and then one of those kills, kills that... Knight, uh, captain, one of the ballistic slams, and then, and then a threaded needle kills the captain. We made sure we had all the other ads down. Now we're gonna get, more than likely, we're gonna get Rashanks, and we've put the boss into his what I'll call his cocoon phase. Now, for future reference, cocoon phase basically means he's immune. That's what I mean by cocoon phase. Uh, a couple of years ago, well, yeah, it probably been, you know, if I think about it, Destiny's been doing that for quite some time. I'm not a big fan of immunity phases, but I'm not going to moan about it either, because it's just, it's been in the game for so so long now that it's kind of pointless. Do I prefer bosses you can melt? Uh, I don't really know. Tree of Probabilities boss, you could one phase him. So, uh, it was quite boring get to the boss and one phase him. I mean, ever since, even since Sabbath and Song, you know, uh, I was going to say the Paramedium, but you could melt that boss as well if you were fast enough. Uh, well, you could melt them all if you were fast enough, but you can't melt this boss. It limits you to that health bar. Any boss that has multiple health bars, they, they can put that on it. Uh, as you've seen there with the little kind of these, these little servitors, the, the defensive servitors, I can't remember what they're called. Un, unyielding? Unyielding, that's right, the unyielding servitors. If I wanted, you see I'm using Tikus now because I don't actually have a lot of heavy, but because I'm going to thunder crash the boss each time, he just dropped heavy in the middle. The great thing about th this area is you can use this to the underneath here to traverse both the sides. But if you kill one of those servitors and it drops ammo, it'll drop into the middle, it's very easy to get. There's the exploders. So there's one still left. Am I going to push around? Yes, he never went to this. Be careful for those exploders. So I'm just going to... Tikus does massive damage really to these, these little servitors. And then what I'll do... That's the last server I've gone. I'm just going to check, make sure there's, there's the server, the next wave of server, uh, Shanks. Once I've took this wave of Shanks out and this wave of ads, then I'm going to, then I'm gonna, going to uh, just try and get a shot on one of the burning. There we go. Get that. Look at that. The, I, I've got the hip fire. Uh, I got the hip fire and then I managed to hit one of the burning ads 
which just chained explosion to the rest of them. It's just, it really is like a, it, it creates a, an effect where a domino effect, if you like, of killing them and breaking shields and doing more damage and it's, 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 Tikus is just, I don't know if underrated is the right word, I'll just thunder crash this. Every time you thunder crash, you, you'll start the next kind of immunity phase. You see there, now we've got the invisibles. You never seen them in the hunter run because they were part of the ads that I that I uh they were part of the ads that I killed with the, the super. But because now we're gonna have to do more work bit by bit. What you're better off doing as well here, and I'm not sure I'm just gonna put that grenade on and try and kill the, the captain in there. There goes the captain and all the shanks. Let you see that Tikus. Okay, it's not an underrated bow, but it's a lot better for a lot more things, I think, than people give it credit for. So we've got the shanks out. This guy wants to run, and he's going to run. So I'll just make sure. Oh no, he's. Yep. No. I think because I stunned him. Two, three. Four. So that was the guy that normally runs up the stairs. Look at this guy. You'll always have ads down the stairs. I, I was expecting the ads around here. So I'll just punch him. And then get the explosion. There we go. So there's not going to be any more ads underneath here. You're always in that, after that kind of midway, midway phase, you always get ads underneath just make sure you clear them in case it it can happen ads can push in i i was doing this with clan members uh getting them the 100ks done and what have you <laughs> and one of the night one of the overlords came in pushed into this room and jumped over that railing and then teleported underneath to the other side <laughs> it was insane I, I hadn't seen that before so this will happen as well when you break that knight shield with a grenade He's, he's like really evasive. We break his shield, he'll just run. And there's another invisible. The, the overload was under there as well. And if I can take take this knight, this captain, with Tikus, which I'd be very surprised, because once you get him low, he is like off. Like that. So I'm just going to try and just take out that last ad. Uh, I, I I would have suggested what I'm doing now, I would have suggested once I took out the bigger wave of ads, is just start taking a couple of these down. The unyieldings, because it's just less fire on the doorway. And just, you know, I'm at least trying to do something with the auto rifle. Yeah, th those unyieldings are just like peppering the doorway with, with void cannon shots. Just take, take one of them down one or two of them down and, and it just it's less damage for you to take so see there that overload he teleported at the wrong time and he's gone he teleported in there at the wrong time I should have had him but uh, he is like the most evasive ad in the game <laughs> Just grab that heavy, make sure I'm reloaded. I've got a grenade again. Now on retrospect, I would have I wouldn't have bothered with that that uh I wouldn't have bothered with that captain I'd have just left him. Because even though you break his shield, he just the minute his shield breaks he's off. And I wasted two grenades on him. Again, like I've said, take down those unyielding if you take down these first two then that's less shots coming in at the doorway but I was that focused now sometimes it happens it was like I had a vendetta against this this captain because I hate that 
I hate, I hate ads that, that constantly run away. So now we'll take another one, hope, maybe start taking another one. And then we'll switch to the auto and finish, finish it off. Now that's just going to be less arc fire coming in, uh, void, void fire. Now I don't really want to push too far out because we're going to have... There we go, we've now got him there. So I moved into the left there because I was expecting... I actually wasn't... It's really stupid because I was expecting fire to come in from the other side without thinking that, uh, that there'll be a wave of... Uh, I just wouldn't bother with that captain. The captain's annoying me even just watching it. I would just would just leave him and take down as take down as many of the. I'm just gonna go over here and get uh, heavy. You see, even though that that right. So seeing there, that overload just teleported away and then teleported back. Just even just told that now as a precautionary, just to break his shield and get him to run away. He will do this constantly. So we've managed no. I hit him there, but just he's just such a bad app. It's a hot If if the amount of time I'm dealing with this captain, if that hadn't happened, this run would have been the same amount of time as the hunter. Now because Because the He's so low and this overload is so glitchy. You probably could run over there and ballistic slam this captain now. Which is, I think, what I'm going to try and do here. Because the other overload just won't come anywhere near you. He just, he, he's just like... He's just so kind of glitchy. Not not glitchy, but the way that he teleports about, it's, it's unlike most of the other overloads in the game. I went over there and just as I went to try and do the Ballistic Slam, we got another wave of uh, shanks. So that's all the shanks down. And we've managed to stop him. And we've got that overload now as well. So now I can, if I want, go and Ballistic Slam this, this captain. And because of all the damage I'd done to him, uh, he was like ready to go anyway. So the ballistic slam killed him. So I'm just going to take out that uh, that uh, last unyielding. And you see there, big massive damage with with the thunder crash. Now just turn around with the linear and just finish him off. That's the run. That that captain over on the other side. I literally would throw the grenades over as precautionary methods, uh, uh, precautionary things. I would just wait until he cleared all the ads to take him out and use Tiku's. Don't bother about the overload. He, you'll get him when you get him. He actually, it seems like he chooses his time for you to get him. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this and the other Master Nightfall that I put out and the Trails Run. That is me now going to upload this and then go on holiday. Have a good week. I will see you next next week. Take it easy.